when you need to troubleshoot contracts, you need to keep in mind that the contracts filtering is uh, is enforced on the leaves. So whenever you define rules between EPGs at the tenant level, eventually they are programmed on the leaves where the EPGs reside. One of the key points is to understand based on traffic flow on which leaf you should be looking. And the other point is that the, the, the hardware is programmed not based on EPG names, but it's programmed based on um, class ID numbers, right? So, so you need to basically find the class ID numbers, and then you need to use commands to show the polyscan programming, which is um, called also the zoning rule table. And this is organized uh, per VRF, because of course each VRF is uh, handled independently of the other ones. Uh, so the traffic is segmented into different BRFs. So whenever you look at the rules, you also need to look at them in terms of in which BRF is the traffic that you expect forwarded into, right? So the key numbers you need to have for the troubleshooting are the class ID numbers of the PGs as well as the segment ID of the VRF. Now, there is this script which you can use per leaf, which is making life easier because it's doing the mapping between class ID numbers and EPGs for you. But otherwise, the command that is uh, often used for troubleshooting the police scan programming is this one, in which case you need the VRF uh, segment ID number as well as the class ID numbers of the EPGs. Now, we can think of the troubleshooting for contracts as um, two different options you can follow, right? One is to troubleshoot per leaf. Um, so knowing that the policy scan rules are programmed per leaf, you would have to go into the leaf or the leaves where the PGs are present. So you can then check the policy cam rules there. And then you do this uh, leaf by leaf. And you can also check which uh, rules are hit. And uh, there are hardware counters for each rule that are on by default and they're updated continuously. Uh, but you need to know which leaf to look, right? Or you can use um, what I define here as a global troubleshooting level, which is using the UI and the global view of the tenant to see which rules are being hit. But this can be done primarily by using the log option on the on the uh, filtering rules. So this requires that you do actually add some configuration to the rules versus uh, the uh, counters here are on by default and you can just check them as they are updated. So on one case, you need to know which lifts look. Uh, on this case, you don't need to know which leaf to look at traffic, but you need to configure the log option on the uh, policy cam rules in order to be able to troubleshoot what is happening, right? So let's take a look at the per leaf troubleshooting. The command that makes uh, the troubleshooting easier is called the contract parsers Python script, uh, so contract underscore parser dot PIY, which provides these options for narrowing down the scope. All right, so for instance, you can say dash dash VRF and enter the VRF name, and then it will tell you uh, the rule ID, which is the uh, number it maybe can be useful for the troubleshooting. Uh, and then it actually provides the name of the PG. Uh, so you don't have to do the mapping of the class ID by hand, by checking, you know, the GUI and then using the CLI, but you can see there immediately here in the output, uh, the EPG name in the contract, as well as it gives you here the hit count, the exact hardware hit count for that role. So it's a very convenient command to use. The classic command has been used for the longest time is show zoning rule. Show zoning rule requires, uh, again, going into the leaf of interest, uh, entering show zone rule, and then you need to find the rule ID, and then the source and destination EPGs, you can find them by checking the, the class ID number. So before doing that, before issuing this command, you would have to go to uh, the UI, and then in the UI, you would look at the EPG names, and they would find the class ID numbers. And then with these numbers, you can then look at the policy cam programming by using the show zoning rule command. Uh, by uh, scoping the, the output to the VRF that you are uh, looking at. Now, you can also check the hardware statistics uh, with a dedicated command, which is show system internal policy manager stats. And this is how the output will look like. So you can see the exact count of the packets. But again, this is more involved, more requires more steps because you need to, this is not showing you the name of the contract or the name of the PGs. You need to find the rule number, uh, for instance, by going uh, to the leaf 
in the fabric inventory and, and so on. So long story short, these are the prolif commands to check the stats. Okay, this is how to look for the filter of interest. But if you want to make your life easier, you just use the contract parsers command. That's the easiest way to uh, to look at the policy and programming on the leaf. But this is leaf by leaf. Uh, what if you want to have a you know a more practical way to look at the problem? Imagine you have many leaves and you don't want to go and find out, okay, in which leaf do I need to look and so on and so forth. The log option can help. So uh, ACI has the, um, in the contracts, has the logging capability, just like uh, ACLs. And the implicit deny has the log option on by default. So drop packets are logged automatically. You don't need to do anything for that. But if you want to troubleshoot a contract configuration, there are good chances that you want to see if traffic is hitting the permit rules that you've entered. So if you want to do that and you want to look at it from tenant view, then you just need to add the log option to the permit configuration. And so this is a logging feature as you are familiar with uh, in other platforms. And the logging feature sends packets to the CPU. Uh, so the hardware sends some copies of the packets and it's really limited at 500 packets per second by default, but you can also change the control plane policing uh, rate limiting by using the configuration here. So the information is then displayed into two different views. One is the packet logs and the other one is flow log. So I think most of us are familiar with the packet logs, meaning, you know, you see, you know, these, uh, the latest packets are being logged and then you can check um, if they match what you expect. And you can see them, so you could check them on a per leaf basis as well, but here we're, we want to do things uh, in a bit more scalable way, looking at the bigger picture, not having to go leaf by leaf. So what you want to do is to go to tenant operational packets, and here it's an aggregated logs of all the packets that are being logged by all the leafs. Uh, now, of course, ACI cannot display all the possible packets, so there's some certain maximum amount of packets that are being displayed. But what I find useful is the flow logs. Flow logs is basically statistics. So ACI takes all these packets that are getting to the CPU and then it builds some sort of spreadsheet out of them by keeping statistics of which entries are being hit by the logged packets. Okay, so not by all packets that are flowing through the fabric, but just the ones that are being forwarded to the CPU. And so this number is not useful to tell how much traffic was flowing hitting a given entry, but it's useful just to find out if an entry is being hit or not and by which kind of packets. So it helps to, for the troubleshooting. So this view is available in tenant operational flows. This is how the flow log statistics table looks like. It shows you uh, layer two forwarded packets that are being permitted, layer three forwarded packets are being permitted, so routed packets, bridge packets are being dropped, and, and the routed traffic that is being dropped. So uh, again, how can I troubleshoot the policy cam rules uh, in an easy way? Well, add a log to the permit entries that you want to verify, then you go to the flow statistics table, and then here you can see if uh, you see the source and destination IP packets that you would expect uh, with the ports that you would expect that are being permitted, then whatever you configured is, is, uh, is working. Check also the latest timestamp. And also this tells you on which leaf the packet is being uh, filtered as well as which uh, source and destination uh, PC tags uh, or APGs are being hit. So it's a very nice way to, uh, to check what is happening. Now, remember that the flow log is not a replacement for NetFlow. These are not accurate statistics, okay? These are just um, statistics of what is being sent to the CPU. The per packet logs is, uh, as we said, is uh, logging individual packets. Logging is the storing up to 1,000 lines per leaf and uh, up to 500 lines per leaf. So you get to see the latest packets. You don't get to see them all. And you can check them again, either from the tenant view, or you can also use this CLI command and see them directly on the leaf. Okay, so it's another way to troubleshoot the traffic. This is the output of the show command on the leaf. Now we can also export the logs uh, in terms of syslogs. So this is showing you where to go to change the login level so that the uh, syslogs are being uh, generated. Okay, so these are the tools that are built into ACI for troubleshooting. Now, there are some other interesting tools, and it's outside the scope of this presentation, namely the Policy Explorer, which help with the visualization of which contracts are in place between APGs. So here we have all the APGs that are in the fabric, and it shows you all the contracts with the other APGs that are present. You can also then nail down, okay, by entering the APG names, 
so can have a more um, a more specific view. I can also run queries about if a given source can talk to a given destination, so some sort of what if queries. Uh, and this is an example where you enter the EPG names, and then for instance, you enter here the EPG name, it shows you all the other EPGs with which this EPG has a contract. You can see also which policies are uh, on which leaf with a very nice tool, again, the NAE tool, but a very nice view. Basically, what you can do here is you can nail down the view by selecting the consumer tenant and provider tenant in case you know they are different or if they're the same, you select the same one. But then you can nail down the view by selecting which PGs you're interested in or which contracts you're interested in. And based on each one of these selections, you can have a more precise view of the uh, policy cam rules. But again, this is just for you to know that this tool exists. It's basically an NA policy export.